man clings to life tonight after a brutal beating. And investigators say his attackers were just 13 and 14 years old. Good evening. It tops our news at 11. You know, tonight those teens are in police custody. While the man that lies in a hospital bed, he's in critical condition. He was attacked over the weekend on Danforth Street, not far from where he lived, for no apparent reason. Let's bring in defender Hank Winchester, who's been talking with people in the neighborhood. Hank? Devin Carmen, good evening to both of you. This is one of those stories that gets you so mad because we're talking about a senseless crime. As you mentioned, this guy was known all over him, Tram, a kind of a local legend. While his friends found him right here, laying next to the curb, investigators telling the defenders tonight this man was severely beaten by two teenagers. He a legend from the Ham Summit community. This is a photo of Nick Van Asnack tonight in his hospital bed at Detroit Receiving Hospital. He real considerate, uh, loving everybody, crazy about him. Uh, that's why you know something like this to happen to him is. It's, it's senseless. Nick is affectionately known as the Cat Man in Hamtramck because of all the work he does to care for stray cats. Tonight, Nick is struggling to survive. This after sources revealed he was beaten by two teenage punks and left for dead. When I ran over here, the EMS truck was already over here and he was like curled up on the curve. One moving. This happened late Saturday night in Hamtramck on the same streets the Catman has walked hundreds of times before. Except on this particular night, investigators say a 13 and 14 year old went on a violent attack. Now the man who has worked to help so many is now in desperate need of help himself. He don't bother no one. Everybody loves him. Like I say, he just, he's never homeless because no matter where he goes, someone uh, uh, pick him up, tell him come on in. Back out here live, this guy certainly is well loved. We've been out here for the last few hours, and everybody's coming up to us asking us how Nick is doing. I can tell you some close friends uh, visiting him at the hospital today, and unfortunately, they tell us that he is not doing well tonight. We're live here in Hamtramck, Hank Winchester. Back to you. Well, Hank, there's just uh, no understanding it. What is the status of the suspects tonight? Where are they? Uh, Devin, we're talking about two teenagers, 13 and 14 year old. They're being held right now, uh, juvenile detention, Wayne County. And again, investigators at this point say they really have no explanation for why these two teens went on the attack. They're asking any witnesses to call and make sure they call in information so they can help put the pieces of this puzzle together. Well, Back we, to you. And we'll, of course, continue to follow, including the condition of the victim.